welcome back everybody we appreciate you all hanging out and waiting for our next set of games which is going to be beginners versus silent purge theta what are your initial thoughts on this matchup seeing as how beginners just lost two in a row well the big one i know i harp on this a lot but this is just how i view the game uh, in psychological terms but beginners just came off of a gigantic upset that did not go their way and the question is are they going to let that affect the way that they play Silent Purge is not exactly like ALG. They have every team has their own play style, of course, but Silent Purge, not like other EU teams in many ways. They right. are much more in your face. They do way more flanking. They just do things that are unorthodox, kind of similar to ALG, frankly. And that to me is the big question mark. Are the beginners just going to keep playing their standard game? And if they do, I think that's not going to work very well for them but maybe they try to make some adjustments and deal with a slightly more fast pace that I, I'm pretty confident Silent Purge is going to bring to the table. Sleepy, your thoughts going into this set? It's, uh, I don't know. We got to go over pick bands, so why don't you just, why don't we dive into those? What do we have coming out for the teams today? Yeah, sure. Uh, from the side of beginners, we have Cargo being banned. So small, close engagement, high aggression map. Probably just to quell Silent Purge. I mean, Silent Purge can really turn up the heat. Yeah. Um, and then on the side of Silent Purge, so you have a ban of Subway. And, you know, Beginners and I would say Boss Fight are two teams that I'm aware of anyways in the EU that play Subway quite well. So no surprise really there uh, from the Silent Purge side. Uh, we are here on map one, which is Quarantine, a map I love both as a caster and as a player. Still one of my favorites. And uh, it sounds like the teams are ready to kick things off, so I'm going to shut up now and pass it back over to you guys <laughs> to give us the action here play-by-play play as we go through this first round here on Quarantine. A quick uh, intermission is what I like to see, and we are right in to that action. It is going to be on to that Quarantine map, and whew, curious to see how Silent Purge kick off this defense as we go to the north objective. <laughs> A bit of a uh, spread spawn working in the favor of the beginner's slow methodical play style. And I think uh, I'm curious to see if they take this one, if they take their time on this rotation. Already getting caught out with a really nice Wait, angle from Hoochie. Identifies the spawn. He loses his rifle in the chaos. He picks it back up. But a quick uh, spawn identification it plays a lot when you're defending, right? If you can ID where Marsoc is, uh, where they've spawned right out the gate, it's really important because there's a variety of, of positions that Marsoc can spawn in, and that's going to determine when and where you're going to see the enemy. Yeah, Smoil's now moving to the north, sort of on his lonesome... Looks like beginners are taking a much more spread out offense, which I guess is on brand, as you were saying earlier. Uh, it, Killinger and Paws hanging out near center burning. Sorry, go ahead. No, they've just really honed in that style of where they all spread, and it seems like maybe there's disconnect, but in reality, uh, when it's done right, there's very little disconnect. They are pretty much all in sync. The timing... Uh, of when they push lined up all at the same time. Uh, they're a team that's very well well practiced at that style of uh, offense. And so, uh, you know, we have Stra you have Strajek still at spawn, who, you know, who's watching for any early aggression. And I think that's really the key, uh, a main element of the beginner's Marsoc style is they are set up to watch for the aggressive defense, which we've been seeing more and more of. So, you know, to their point, it seems like it's worthwhile doing because we've been seeing some teams really invest in some wild flanks. And uh, especially when you get into this postseason, that's when those, that's when that kind of crazy play really starts to shine. Yeah, I couldn't agree more with that. And Silent Purge playing a bit more conservatively. I know that they tend to like pushing. Uh, he's not playing today, but Flossie is usually the one they have flanking. Looks like they are just going to play a more lockdown, watch angles kind of defense, at least for this first round. Which, as I was saying before, makes sense when you're in the playoffs because you have to be, in many cases, a little more conservative. You don't want to blow around, do anything too reckless that could cost you a map or a round or what have you because that could stop you from moving into the semis. And Hoochie looking down into impact building. He's about to run into three different players if they continue on this line. 
And right as I say that, they rotate away to the west. And Rushers is watching that angle, though. Ooh. Ooh. Nice spot. What a really good ID there from Woods. To be even checking that window in that angle is insane to me. I don't know why he would look there, but he does. He finds himself a kill. And now Rusher is putting down the suppressor fire into the window. Has to back off after missing his shots. Can't afford to stay there and continue to defend. And I wonder if the rotation is going to be able to catch anyone out. But you know, I'm sure Beginner is aware that that's a possibility. I think beginners are sort of pushing their luck time-wise. Stray Jack yep. just came out of the spawn. Crazy. He's by himself, and then they have Smoils way, way into the, what is this, the northeast. I mean, they've only got a minute and 20 seconds. Yeah. Their west side is coming in now. Killinger tosses a grenade. Rusher's going to see him and catch him on the white car. Icy Woods and Paws, far west. Icy Woods finishes off Rushers. Oh, and Smoils gets Sri Lankan. I, you you question the the methods, but this is looking good. Strajax here right yeah. on top of OBJ. They've got control of the West. Smoyles watching a very long lane. That's why he's way over there. But he's covering so much ground. He's watching a huge swath of area. Don Patron able to trade. One for one. Flossy swings, catches Strajak, getting a little lackadaisical. Smoils is here to find that refrag, and beginners come out guns blazing, getting their Marsoc round win. Yeah, excellent execution there from beginners. What started as a questionable time management situation turns out to be quite well executed and timed indeed. Uh, my bigger concern from that round was Silent Purge's very off objective defense uh, there was nothing wrong with it no one was necessarily openly hanging out and just you know risky you know risky business or etc but uh, I, I found a lot of them so far off of I mean if, if Pawson had chose to push off the west there could have very well been a cap there before before that those last kills rang in I mean spoils and the others in the east could have continued to just kind of eat bullets while Paws pushed onto the objective and got that cap. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, a lot of risks to take when pushing out your defense that far and to not see any sort of reactionary change once they id where the beginners were coming from seems a bit odd. But, you know, it's round one. We'll see what Silent Perch have for the offense here in the next round. But still a good round overall. Silent Perch still able to get some picks in there. A very, uh... You're right. You're right. Not a bad round if you're Silent Purge. Not something to really take down as a negative. You know, they they did relatively well to to battle out and uh, and get to where they did on that round. And if and you know, it seemed like they really had it for a while. But suddenly, as as it is with beginners, they crash in on you and make things difficult. So, tell a bit of defense there, but ultimately not enough. We'll see if they can answer back with a Marsoc round of their own as we hop into round number two of map three out of six of today. I guess the first map of the series. I mean, how do you, what's the terminology? I don't know. Maybe just second match. There you go. First map of our second series, how about that? There we go. It's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> yeah, similar setup is what Sleepy was saying. Very kind of off objective defense although this is really the one objective you can kind of get away with that just because it's so out in the open if somebody gets close a lot of angles you can watch from surprised that silent purge picked into this one uh you know i think beginners do well on these sorts of uh maps if anything maybe it is an indicator that beginners aren't as powerful as we may have thought on a, on a map like quarantine because silent purge have the experience of playing against beginners they know what they're good at because they play in their division and play them uh i wouldn't say often but often enough and uh they have a little familiarity of what's going to be going on here so Yeah, 
Yeah, the one thing that I think tends to happen is teams adjust their own comfortable style a little too much based mm-hmm. on who they're playing against. You don't, they don't play their own game. And obviously it's early on. I'm not going to pass judgment yet, but it seems like Silent Purge kind of doing that. They're playing almost like beginners in the sense that they're just taking their time, being very slow and methodical. And in my experience, both playing them and watching them, they excel in more aggressive style of plays. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll see. We will see if how that unfolds for them. But if they try to play beginners at their own game, that's not a great sign for them, in my opinion. Gucci's managed to push up a little bit here, up to that broken, uh, downed plane, and got himself a nice little angle through the window. Silent Purge all slowly working their way up. But it is a slow roll. They're taking their time getting to where they need to be. and doesn't, They don't seem actually as far back as beginners do did at 2.20 right now. Unless they go for a pretty significant rotation, they are getting closer and closer to the objective. Yeah, three minutes down, two minutes left. And we did see how well beginners crashed in with, I think, a minute and 20 is when they're... Big uh, aggressive action started last round. I see Wood spotted Flossie. We couldn't take him out. Flossie rotates. I think Flossie went to uh, go for a foot cross out there and immediately took shots and, then, and said nope and tucked himself back in. <laughs> Killinger's about to peek on Flossie and throws a grenade. Flossie has to feel trapped now. He is just <laughs> rotating back and forth around this rooftop courtyard. If he goes one way, he's got icy woods. If he goes another, he now knows that somebody is up there because a grenade just came onto him. A minute left. Don Patron and who is a Sri Lankan on the east. They are starting their push a bit later. Gucci and Russia are still at impact building. Paws yeah, catches Shree in the east. Flash up Flossy. and over from Flossie. Killinger completely blind. Calls it out. Here's the footstep. Starts to pre fire his corner. Flossie doesn't push off fast enough. Paws able to reinforce. Flossie ducks down, takes shots onto the corner. Doesn't get tagged. Killinger with a nice swing. Well timed. Don Patron finds the refrag. He doesn't get Killinger though. Killinger runs out of ammo, has to reload. Don keeps pushing. He goes past Killinger. And now he's team killing. Oh. And he goes down. A absolute chaotic bit of work there from Don to secure beginners the win. Crazy. Yeah, and see, that's what happens when you have these pushes where you take up so much of the clock, jostling into position mm. and then waiting. You, When things go off yep. and things don't work out to the plan that's in your head, you have no time to adapt and reassess and overcome that situation. It's just not there. And you can see, I mean, Don Patron did a great job of pushing out, grabbing a refrag, um, but then, you know, by the skin of his teeth, made it to the protection of that tank, only to turn and burn on his own teammate and be taken down <laughs> in the open field by Killinger, who notices what's going on and actually stops chasing and goes and doubles back towards the objective. Uh, otherwise, he would have been, you know, had a much harder time getting that last pick to secure. Um, but, I mean, it was a good play, and I think if sprung a bit earlier and not so much of the waiting and the dancing of beforehand, Silent Perch might have come out with that round win. And, of course, minus the team kill, because rushers could have very well possibly uh, taken down Dr. Killinger there after oh. he grabbed, grabbed Stray Jack. So, yeah, it, it's, I mean, or after he grabbed up Trump. So it's really hard to say exactly what would have happened had said X not happened Y, but... Yeah. But yeah, I mean, well played by beginners, uh, Silent Purge, and honestly, any team out there, I recommend you, you had your time a little bit better to account for things not going to plan. Yeah, I wonder what Silent Purge, or what beginners, excuse me, did, because uh, 
you know, like to your point earlier, what you, or, what you well, Beta, uh, they are doing really good of <laughs> bouncing back from a tough series. You know, they've lost two maps are gone out of their hands. It's a tough pill to swallow to know that you have to basically win out every round from now on to really be a competitor for that top two spot. And uh, it's no, it, it, it is no, you know, pressure free position. So for them to just snag two like this is a really good job from beginners yeah, to bounce back. And maybe they're getting that momentum back onto their side, which is something you got to watch out for if you're silent purge. They got to shut this down now. Yeah, you never want the other side to feel too good about what's happening. Uh -huh. And starting out with a 2 0, beginners are likely to feel very confident right now. And Silent Purge, at, I mean, again, it's just the first two rounds, hard to tell. It doesn't feel like they're putting a ton of pressure on beginners. And that is the most reliable way to get people tilted, is to just put them in an uncomfortable position. But if you let the beginners play this way, where they have all the time they need to get into position, pro for peaks, uh, pro for picks, I should say, and just play the what you call traditional beginner style, they will win most of the time. Uh, I think that's the key to the ALG win we saw earlier is just that they did not allow them to play their own orthodox style. They made them uncomfortable on almost every round. Woods proning his way up this street seems to be dialed in on what could be Rusher's position there. Wary of somebody up on that floor and actually shots come in from Rusher's, so... Is going to ID his position there. Woods really looking for that kill here. Yeah, Woods has been catching all kinds of fantastic angles all day. Seems like he's always checking the angles that nobody's expecting him to check. And Rushers is doing a good job of maintaining an overwatch in that southeast without exposing himself much at all to that southern street although killinger about to have an angle on him laser is hitting his position uh Rutgers catches him first but he's down in a good position to get revived as well rushers should be able to see this it's gonna be really hard to get res and not get picked up here he's gonna have to be tucked in behind the hesco as soon as the res comes out Ooh. Narrowly escapes death. Like you said, that was a bit dangerous, but it pays off. Beginners back to full strength. Uh, he catches wow. Killinger anyway. I see Woods. His laser keeps hitting Rusher's position, and he has to know he's there, especially after that death. Look at this, though. Uh, On the back end, Deflossi's peeking out here. Strajak seems to be ready and waiting. Shots come in, they just go over his head. Deflossi tucks back in. Woods now taking shots up onto Rushers. He trades out. Smoils snags one on objective. And look at this. Suddenly, objective barren and open to attack. Not a single defender here. Smoils has the easy walk in route. Not anymore. Now they all seemingly know he's here, but still no rotation. Don does find Woods. The confirm comes out. But they are, I mean, they have no defense on the back end. This is an easy walk-in cap. Don, I think, just realizes this. Yeah, he's calling it out now. No one's back on that north side. They had Flossie in that sort of Sarlacc pit in Tank Courtyard a moment ago. And Sri Lankan in the mall. I mean, like you said, if Don Patron goes down, this is going to be bad. Smoil's in a position to do a nice little wraparound on the east side as well. Pause now coming in from the south. They're getting surrounded. And Flossie in the, uh, you know, easily the weakest position out of this defense. Sri Lankan and Patron, either one of them go down. The objective is, one is shooting from beyond precarious. Although 55 seconds left, there is going to have to be some urgency from the beginners for this to work. It's it's timing up nicely though. They got Smoils moving in. They have Paws over here on this side. They got Strajek up front drawing a good amount of attention to himself. It's gonna come down to that pinch onto objective with 30 seconds. Beginners are lining this up perfectly on the clock. It's gonna come down to the wider though. They're gonna have very little time to punch in this code. I'm surprised to not see a rotation yet from Sri Lankan. 
or from Flossie to really pop out. He's staying tucked in. Down he goes. A quick trade between him and Paws. Smoils comes barreling down to objective, and he's here. Don's going to swing out. He does get the kill underneath the nose of Paws. 15 seconds left, and he gets scooped up by Sri Lankan. A very solid hold from Silent Purge to keep things from spiraling out of control and to keep them in this 1-2-1. One, one. Yeah, a great use of defensive rotation there from Silent Purge. Uh, they, they knew what was going on. They knew who they were losing, and they managed to get rotations. They knew they were able to spot the weaknesses in their defense uh, and accommodate for them as best they could. Uh, you know, those guys in that, that parking garage exit were a little bit kind of confined there for a moment, but... Yeah, overall, I'd say a good a good adaptation round on the defense from Silent Purge, and, and they commanded a nice point there from beginners and helped stop the momentous flow uh, of points coming out of them at the moment. I, you have to shut it down. You can't let that's beginners' momentum run wild. Uh, it'll run wild on you, and so you have to prevent the beginners from going Hulkamania. Yeah, rule number one and onward, never allow Hulkamania. <laughs> All right, that's like my third joke of the day. I think I've reached my limit. <laughs> oh, we're here for another couple hours. <laughs> We've got more in reserve. Yeah, I hope you got some jokes in the back pocket waiting for us. <laughs> uh, you know, oh, you guys missed some gold over on uh, BRML channel yesterday between me and Noman. When in doubt, dump the magazine out. Mm. Uh, that's a good one other other classics like like that one and, and more so you should go back and watch that from yesterday get 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 a few new one-liners <laughs> go back and watch the classic Shaden. game that was another one. Oh yeah i heard i heard that i heard that one garnered some popularity so well done on that front but hey i'm good for one thing it's useless puns and jokes useless puns and jokes aside we got some excellent action ahead of us here this has been a great round one so far our shots ringing down on this tragic as he makes this risky cross he gets out there Ooh. without getting tagged the luck of the irish gets him to where he needs to be silent purge saw the beginners running into their defensive positions flossy saw the cross and entry into motel for pause yeah, I and just tried to at least it. one cross to the south was ID'd as well. So they're starting to see the spread. Neither of those are particularly surprising positions, but now they know they have entrenched defenders they have to deal with in those spots. Couldn't manage to get those early picks. It's always nice when you can catch somebody on the cross mm -hmm. early on. You know that that position will be open for your push later on. I mean, it's one lane that leads to you having to worry about the whole south of the map. If you just cover that lane and deny the cross, the entire south of the side of that map becomes a non-threat, and it really lets you focus in on the enemy position. It's Killinger here with a very tight angle, looks for to thread the needle, can't get the shots. Really nice. He Woods catches Don Patron. Let's see, he's he's in the parking garage, correct? Yes. Okay. So early aggression not paying off. Poochie's now in the middle of the South Street. Let's see Flossie over near the APC. Yeah, they're pushing in a bit of a straight line. And once again, this is. We are talking about this on the ALG game. If you play like this, if you're all spread out and you try to go one by one, it's you're sort of playing beginner's game. Ooh, Uchi shoots Stray Jack in the south. Smoils could potentially go for the res. That would be very risky, though. Uh, he's going to rotate around. Smart. So many unconfirmed kills today. If you're not familiar with the game's concept, uh, if you get shot, sometimes you are either insta-killed by getting shot in the head, uh, or you're shot and downed, in which case a teammate can run over to your dead corpse, pick up a syringe, and resurrect you, bringing you back to life. It's then at this point that if you get shot anywhere, uh, you will die and can be unres and, and cannot be rezzed again. And so 
you know, they're a little, you're a little bit softer after you've been uh, picked up, just because if you get tagged, you are going to be instantly, uh, you know, going to be down and unresable for that for the remaining round. But what you often see is the uh, shooter will put a couple of extra rounds into a downed body, and this is to to guarantee that that person cannot be resurrected. Because if you shoot a downed t uh, player, it prevents uh, the enemy from being able to resurrect them. So. Interesting to see so many reses available and get picked up, and I've been keeping an eye on Hoochie as Paz finds one, because Hoochie is slowly working his way up to objective. He's trying to thread the needle. Yeah, we're seeing just a lot of this happening where somebody goes down and there's no possibility of a refrag. Can he get through here? No, Strayjack oh, has an angle. Yeah, Strayjack's about to see him if he crawls. Right there. Although Strayjack looked away for a moment. Oh boy. If there's he gets a... in here now, Strayjack's yeah, gonna see Yeah, him. there's a gap in time right here. Finally, the shots come in. Not before a kill is secured onto Killinger. Not secured, as he is resable, but does down him. And that's a pretty big down. Uh, they're on objective defender gone. They still have Icy Woods, and everyone else is still up. Uh, Silent Purge have all been down, save Sri Lankan, who is swinging here and scooping up Strajic. Okay, one's down the south. They know where he is now, they can isolate him. You know, there's one in the south. Yeah, I'm around them on the back, they're watching me. Smoils is watching that angle. Oh! Wow, Shree catches him. Uh, so, a lot of confirmations. Twenty seconds. Now oh, there it is. Beginners go up three-one with that kill from Pause. Had a lot of room to work up there, and uh, yeah, a solid hold. They knew where he was. The callouts from the down teammate. Everything going into their favor. Sleepy, your thoughts on that round? Uh. I mean, it was a valiant effort there from Silent mm. Purge. They did absolutely everything they could, and Strayjack was doing it. Yeah. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Sri Lankan was doing an amazing job there at the end to try and bring it back for, for Silent Purge, but it was just between the time, the distance, yep. and the number of defenders that were still left, he was just facing an insurmountable enemy at that point. But, um, you know, a, another good, solid defensive round from beginners, as we come to expect uh, from the number one <laughs> team in, you know, in the world. Um, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's, it, it's map one in this series, so yeah. even if beginners do take this one silent perch, can maybe pick into a map or, uh, or play a map that they'll do better on. Maybe they're just not having a good map right now, even right. against their own expectations. They're just not playing to their own expectations even, so... It's really hard to tell without going in there and doing in-between round interviews with each of the players, which of course is unlikely and obviously <laughs> a waste of time in between rounds. So we'd be here for 24 hours. It'd be a 24-hour yeah, yeah. stream. It'd be a 24-hour charity stream because <laughs> we would need the charity to keep us going. Uh, but no, Silent Purge are still playing well. They're just not. They just don't have that that oomph to get over the hill, the hump to get those points against beginners right now. So we'll see what, what unfolds as we go forward. But for now, they're still putting forth a great effort in getting getting those round wins where they can. They're doing their best up against the number one team in their division. It is not an easy task by any means, Kill, uh, even though ALG, I mean, didn't make it look easy, but certainly made it look easier. Uh, it is really not the case. And I'm curious to see, again, if beginners do just sort of kind of rally back from those 2-0 losses, take two here from Silent Purge and two from Vikings, because those are teams they're familiar playing with. ALG is that wild card in this EU Cup where nobody really knows how they're going to play. And so... Wouldn't terribly surprise me to see them come out on top of how they're playing right now. Uh, but hey, like anything's possible. Vikings and Silent Purge are fantastic teams. They're very capable of taking rounds from anybody in this group stage. And I'm not counting Silent Purge out just yet. Yeah, and there's an old saying from fighting that styles make fights. And I think that is very true in this situation as well. Mm, yeah, yeah. You know, I think ALG just has a play style that beginners are not used to. They don't know how to cope with very well, but not to say they couldn't cope with it in the future. Probably just weren't quite expecting what they faced today. And this is more along the lines of like these two played each other so much. They know how to modulate each other's style, or at least beginners, I think, are modulating Silent Purge a little bit better. 
But, uh, you know, all these teams, if you make it to the semis or, excuse me, the round robin, I mean, you're a good team. So it's not like any of these teams are bad. Uh, I think sometimes you just have situations like that where it's very challenging to deal with a change or a play style that you're not used to. Totally agree with you on that. It's it, again, it's, I think it's probably why our, our, uh, <laughs> our cast, our analyst desk, if you will, our pre-show desk all leaned towards, uh, beginners, or excuse me, ALG taking at least one of these spots. Silent Purge, I believe was Tripp's choice, uh, who noted that they did very good on Bazaar in their, in their round W here they're struggling a bit against beginners, not a lot. They're 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 very close uh, with these beginners matchups, but uh, we'll see what happens. This is their map pick, and I gotta wonder where we're headed for beginners map choice. Do you think it's gonna be downfall, or do we go? We can't possibly be going to bazaar. That's definitely off the table. I would guess downfall. Yeah, I think they want to keep it long range if possible. That's where they excel, and they know it. Kildur gets. Don Patron in the impact building. Hoochie's in rubble, not rotating out. Flossie getting suppressed by a few defenders. Strajak actually scoops up Hoochie by popping up out of the hole uh, from the garage. And now, beginners looking good. Silent Purge getting picked off one by one. Rusher's would be that next front line sort of defense along with Deflossi. They are right on top of this Marsoc push. Ooh, Killinger right on Flossi. And Flossi pushes the corner and prevails instead. He's now in a position to flank. Oh, but Icy Wood says, no, nope, not today. Jumps down into that crack and finishes off Flossie. Now 2v4, favor of beginners. And trade there. Rushers is still up, but it is now one and a half versus three for the map point. I think Smoyles heard Rushers talking and is now going to run up and finish him off, if I were to guess. Sri Lankan was about to drop out and go for a wide rotation and checks his pad, realizes the situation he's in. And on this rotation, he make it cut out. Pause has an angle. Pause very much in the open. Sri Lankan ducks down nicely. It's a physical game here, people. You got to be moving in your play space to dodge shots like that. And so a good bit of squatting work from Sri Lankan to keep himself alive. We'll see how long it keeps him alive, though. He's getting surrounded. This is such a hard objective to defend individually because, oh, and Icy Woods nullifies that. And beginners win quarantine 4 1. Ugh, yeah, I mean, to your point earlier, I think we're probably going to see downfall next, if I were to guess. And the analyst desk would agree. <laughs> uh, seeing as it hasn't been banned, downfall seems like a pretty obvious choice for us going Ooh, into the next map. Oh. But, uh, we are Ooh. wrong. Uh, <laughs> and Look. everything that we said before was just a joke. We were just kidding. Uh, we all think that there, we're going to play Bizarre next and Gans Flood. That's what we're doing. So, spoiler alert, it's Bizarre. But yes, uh, so beginners taking a pretty commanding lead there, uh, or a commi pretty commanding win score wise, anyways, mm -hmm. uh, with that 4 to 1 win on quarantine. That will definitely help them because, you know, now that you they have lost those rounds, every round, you know, we talked about it, not only do they need to win every map, but they need to really be trying to win every round and try and stop yeah. any other team that they face off against today uh, from scoring anything. So a good showing there on quarantine, only allowing that one point from Silent Purge. Excuse me, but they're going to have to keep that going. Uh, they cannot let up on that at any point throughout the rest of the day because they need every single one of those rounds to help them win any possible tiebreaker scenarios uh, going forward to claim the, one of those two tops, two top spots. Excuse me, the hiccups always come at the wrong time. Mm -hmm. I think I think beginners chose side, which would explain our uh, unexpected map pick here. Bizarre for map two. Silent Purge just saw ALG take a map against uh, against beginners here makes sense that they then pick into it and if you get if you're not familiar with the format uh of the of the day uh, i don't blame you it's a little bit new from our regular season sort of stuff 
But essentially what happens is beginners as the home team get to ban a map, they ban cargo. Silent Purge ban a map, they ban subway. Oh, beginners picked quarantine. I thought they started on Mars. Did they start on Marsock on quarantine? I don't remember. I don't either, but let's say beginners pick quarantine, so that would make sense then the Silent Purge picked this map. I am wrong on the side assumption. I just forgot who uh, who went first there, but either way, I guess that that explains things a little bit better, honestly, in my mind, that beginners snagged their own map, and now we get to see what Silent Purge bring to the table on their map pick up against beginners who have just experienced the map loss on, on, against ALG. Pause, taking shots on the Don. Those don't land, and already we're off to the races. Fun fact for those just joining us uh, in the series or for the day, uh, that's also the map that beginners got capped on by Aimless Gaming in the mm. very first round of today's game. So I'm sure they're going to be playing their defense a bit more closely this time around. <laughs> yeah, we're seeing a little bit more of a traditional Silent Purge offense with DeFlossi way in the West as a flanker. Seems to be his role in many of their plays. And they are getting much closer to objective much quicker than they were on quarantine. Although, to be fair, there's much less distance that needs to be covered. As Hoochie is already across the street. Oh, no. Oh, that is not a good way to start this round. Maybe that's the pressure of the series of the entirety of Group B getting to rushers. He runs over, checks the body, realizes his mistake, calls it out, and now they know they're one short. One coming in from that east side, one from center... One from west. They got another in the east on the back end there. Eventually, he'll be moving up. But yeah, you're absolutely right. If you look at this beginner's defense, I suppose it was this tight uh, up against the likes of uh, ALG. We actually saw a very similar defensive setup. Smoils was inside objective room there. And they almost capped, if you recall. They, do, they, they traded on objective there. And so... Yep. wonder if Smoils is shifting off of that uh, rather unsuccessful, or I guess successful, but nearly unsuccessful hold there. And he's got the tablet out now, so he's got a, he's got a drone somewhere. Paws scoops up Hoochie, and he's been radioing in nonstop, so he's giving information to his team on, on somebody's location. Yeah, once again, I would love to know where that drone is it's being used very effectively. We're just going to have to keep an eye on, on the defense at the start of rounds to see the, where, who's deploying drones so we can see where they go right away. Because it, it seems to be a more common uh, tactic being utilized by both teams. Yeah, and we have people in the southeast. Enemy. Yeah, Flossie seems to be realizing that he is by himself over in this west completely. Trying to make a move. Uh, Rushers catches Icy Woods. That will open up a flank for Flossie. Oh, Strayjack going for the revive, though. Yeah, and here it comes. Flossie getting very, very brave near the objective. They're hearing him already. And I don't know, maybe the drone playing a role there, it sounded like. They had him called out pretty early. Well, maybe not. And Smoils if he... Oh, Sri Lankan does Flossie a big favor. Flossie should be able to get this on Woods if he stays out in the open. Oh. No, he's pushing in. He's on objective. He's behind the defense. Killinger's here. Killinger swings. He trades oh. on OBJ and beginners come out on top of the 1v1 trade. Silent Purge coming out the gate hot on Bazaar. Yeah, uh, a great play from them for their first Marsoc round there. Uh, an unfortunate swing of events there at the end. 
Uh, you know what, Theta? I, I, I'm not looking for your drones. <laughs> yeah. The Good number luck. of places you can hide a drone in Bazaar is just staggering. I mean, I tried for a few moments and I'm just like, I don't have time to sit here and check every nook, cranny, and corner of this map to see where they might have had that sucker. But a good use of it, and they've been making use of that quite well. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very Rainbow Six Siege meta stuff coming on, uh, yeah. coming into the game now with the camera <laughs> usage. So, I'm, again, I'm excited to see how that will evolve maybe going into Season 11 and how Marsoc, you know, tries to respond to that intel gathering or usage that Volk will have to their advantage there. So, but <clears throat> a great play there. Flossy making an excellent move. A little bit of momentary decision, uh, decision making gone wrong a bit. Yeah. He, he realistically should have just run up the side of the building uh, and hid next to it to try and get the cap in. But maybe he's not a fast capper. So he, he knows he's not confident and needs, you know, felt better being inside protected. Right. He also went to make sure that the defender wasn't there who he just barely missed. So he was on a rabbit chase. So there's a lot of complex aspects going into that that made that uh, not really work out for him. But a great round again from Silent Perch overall, even though they didn't walk out with the round win. But beginners, of course, proving their defense is a tough one to crack. Yeah, and to your point about the drones, it's interesting because if you fly the air drone, there's an indicator of where it is. You get the audio cue of the propellers going. And with the ground drone, once they park it, you have no idea. I mean, you could just hide those drones and like beginners are showing they know how to do that very well because even as casters like looking around, I was looking too, I couldn't find it. No idea where the drone was. So it's an excellent tool for gathering information if you know how to use it as these beginners clearly do. Heavy east spawn here, heavy east push from beginners, kind of an ALG vibe almost as they're all grouped up here on this east side. Yeah, they've got one more towards the market, but you're right. Pretty much everybody in the east now, which is pretty unorthodox for the beginners. I mean, if you're Silent Purge, put yourself into their shoes. You're defending, you know beginners like to split, surround, and collapse. Uh, if you hear one, you're not going to necessarily rotate off of your spot right away. You know, you, you, so it, Flossie really has, I, I, to, to that point, Silent Purge is set up perfect. They're in the right position. Sri Lankan and Flossie here in the east, if they were on the west side, and they had that west available, I would say that this is the con that's the concern here, but, you know, they're going to have to clear out the likes of Sri Lankan and Flossie, and Sri Lankan's already snagged one. He's going to look for another, but there's lasers dialed into Ooh, his position now. You, bro. How you feel about that? Yeah, it's an interesting interplay of expectation violation that's going on. Like you said, if you're setting up a defense against beginners, you expect them to be spread out. By not doing that, it can kind of blow up your defense. Though, so, Silent Purge and Beginners at 4v4 right now, so it hasn't cost them yet, if it will. Okay, I killed Fred. Oh, shit. Boss gets Sri Lankan. So, gets that... gets Sri Lankan and then recognizes Flossie up top, tucks himself back in, gets the call out. Hoochie scoops up another Beginner's offense. Down goes Flossie, the woods, the south is opened up here and we're gonna see if this crash from the east is gonna pay off because don and hoochie are on obj i don't know if i killed straight or not and hoochie is checking the west too because again to your point you would expect them to be spread and have at least one person coming from the opposite direction so they have oh. all their focus spread around i see woods gets don patron and south 100% open now. Not an ideal situation for Hoochie. Woods puts out a couple of rounds on the corner. Seemed like guesswork, but Hoochie steps into the bullets to end that round. Beginners piling onto their lead now here in map two, going up 2 0. So. so... What I saw here, a lot of here, was some good shooting from Silent Purge, but they're mm. they're too anxious to peek. You don't do that against beginners. Yeah. I think 
you know, most 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 people know that <laughs> realistically, and maybe Silent Purge were uh, trying to roll on the confidence of those first early round picks that they had, uh, and that they weren't seeing a lot of movement out west, and they thought, okay, maybe this will be a bit easier. We can close in on them similar to how they would do on us and you know you've seen it before sometimes the defense will be the one to get aggressive if they know they have a spawn where they can corner and box in an offense and leave them with no options to escape uh, a lot of times you'll see that but <clears throat> i yeah i don't know i just i feel like there were kind of too many unnecessary rushes to cover to recover or to get a refrag maybe or even mm -hmm. just to get the intel and see who was around the corner um which ended up to loss of life and so it, it was a good i really don't know how to analyze it any better because it was a good round yeah. but it just simple mistakes there and against a team like beginners will be what cost you yep small mistakes stack up when you're playing against good teams no doubt about it sri lankan though really doing well for his team though carrying four kills Pucci and Flossy with one apiece, and Patrona Rushers unable to get anything going just yet. Uh, and Icy Woods carrying a sixer Oof. over on the side of Beginners, doing really well for their team so far in this one. And Killinger and Paws with one and two, respectively. <laughs> All right, I, I'm watching Smoils this time because he just dropped a drone. <laughs> I'm going to follow this one this time. I'm going to figure out where they're putting this. That means we can afford to watch Silent Purge roll out their offense, and eventually we'll see where that drone ends up setting itself and where the recon comes in. It's interesting to see Smoils taking that, considering he used to be their LMG. Uh, I guess his support role has just sort of shifted a little bit. You know, he's not doing the suppressive fire as much now, and he's, he's uh, using that drone for recon. Okay, so if you look on me, he has placed it right behind the tank in this little area where there's like a barricade and hmm. and crates. I don't know exactly how to describe that, but there, unless you knew exactly what to look for, you would never see that. It's probably going to hurt them because they have several people in the middle or near that street. This is interesting. We're seeing a similar defensive setup to that of Sil of uh, ALG against bo against uh, beginners there. They had Killinger in that Kayot building, except he doesn't uh, interfere for the entirety of the round. He gets scooped up by rushers pretty early, and now they're just down one uh, right out the gate. Silent Purge off to a good start on this objective. Three twenty on the clock. The slow roll, very much the case here for Silent Purge beginners. With this objective staying very tucked in, they prefer to keep themselves tight around the objective kill room. It's the smart way to hold this objective. Uh, it, you cannot afford to be down to even two in just this courtyard. You have to be able to have at least three, and then that one can rotate. Strajak can crash in pretty fast from two different sides, from the north or from that uh, east. So he's got options, and we'll see how beginners uh, ultimately defend the Silent Purge slowly setting up. Uh, Smoils just called out Flossie because he walked in front of that drone. So they know that there's somebody coming east side now. I mean, everything's coming in. Sri Lankan crashing in onto Woods. Down he goes. Woods tried to throw a nade, but that doesn't uh, do much. He does get that kill still. Hoochie here looking for the refrag. Finds it through the window. An excellent track from that door into the window by Hoochie. Really nice pick up there. Dawn's on objective. Pause is challenged by two. One goes down. Rushers is here. Pads out. Look at how quick Rushers pulls pad. He's trying to punch Ooh. in code. Strajak's trying to crash here to get in time. Can he do it? No, we can't. Silent oh. Purge. Punch it in. Just under the nose of Strajak. Good discipline on them, and things are tied up here on map two. Well, I know any of uh, Rusher 
Dangler uh, roster mates are proud of him there for the going for that one. As you can see, he saw that opportunity. He pulled that tablet out immediately oh, yeah. and went for that cap at. Now, he, <laughs> is he the fastest fingers in the West? No, by no means. But he got the cap and just in the nick of time because he was taken down by Strayjack as he rushed back for that for that clutch. And I mean, even even with that, that doesn't win the round because as we saw, Hoochie was there still on the board on the field to play and uh, so that didn't mean necessarily anything but a nice comeback there from Silent Purge impressive play there from them uh, even in the pinch on time and with a few things going wrong on the on the push in and we're back to a tie game here and they just keeping things rolling we're into the next round not a whole lot of delay between sessions here both teams feeling the flow feeling good things all evened up here as we get into that next round and this is uh, <laughs> this is Group B delivering on all accounts. ALG take two from beginners, and now here we are in a very good back and forth for our fourth map of the day. Oh, at least one more in the fucking. Yeah, I have to wonder what's going through the minds of beginners. Everybody, I would assume them too, was assuming they were going to be the easy favorite to take the number one spot, but mm. not saying they can't secure one of the spots but i think that is looking a little more precarious than people were expecting stray jack takes out rushers he was hanging out in the east so i see woods making his way up to the north and he is seeing hoochie he knows he's there hoochie does not adjust fast enough and now the north is wide open. Nobody in the north at all at this point. Just two in objective area, one across the street, directly to the east. Beginners still have full strength, a full five-person squad alive. It's interesting now, how Woods would get that kill. Ooh, a team kill. That's bad. But Woods would get that kill... Two kills on the north and then drop off of it. You said the north is clear, but uh, oddly enough, they don't decide to push that. They decide to stick to this east side that they've invested some time in. Smoils uh, isn't there to radio it, to, to hold a, a drone and identify this push. He is there to get the kill, though. Down goes one. The flash comes up and over from the bossy. More shots ring into his position all kinds of rounds flying at him and here comes the push from beginners of three minutes the east getting overwhelmed and suddenly objective defense is incredibly weak that's 5v1 all up to flossy and he's not directly on objective either i don't think beginners are going to go for a cap yeah they don't uh smiles catches to flossy and now beginners on the verge of winning the second map it's exactly what they needed, you know, when you talk about them bouncing back again from that 2-0 loss. This is this is a very good performance so far. Yeah, and it's a good job at stopping the the momentum change that Silent Purge was possibly going to pick up after swinging that cap in the previous round to tie things up here. Uh, you really, you really got to be careful about that because if you let your opponent get get too too comfortable again too in the groove to to as as theta would say playing to their own play style playing their own yeah. game uh and not playing into their heads of oh my god it's the beginners or oh my god it's silent purge <laughs> or it's global chem or it's any of the you know fearful teams that you're always afraid of matching up against because you know it's the possibility of a loss ahead of you yeah. so uh, a great job there from beginners to stop that flow uh, a nice attempt there from silent purge but uh, a few mistakes as well you know you had that team kill uh which basically limited one of their players to a one shot and their last three of their key defenders there at the end of the round so uh, i did see a very impressive spin move from who was it there at the end to flossy i believe it was the last yeah. to go down uh <laughs> as he as he went to uh check fire windows as he as he heard movement in the bazaar he did this very interesting spin move as he kind of rolled from the opening of the window shot through it and then kind of rolled along the window it was very impressive <laughs> like a ballerina i think the kids call that a 360 no scope <laughs> <laughs> boom roasted sleepy on suicide watch 
The VR version of a 360 no scope. That's for dang sure. Certainly a, a good bit of shooting there. And now we move on to our next round down into the west. Curious to see uh, what Silent Purge do here. This is a capable objective, but uh, against beginner's defense, I don't know if I see that as a possibility. Yeah, and I'm going to watch for this drone again because I'm just fascinated by this new game that's emerging. I heard Smoil singing a song to his drone. Okay, so he has placed the drone this time. He's watching the cross on the south side. He's on this little, like, telephone pole. Yep. Huh, interesting. Good bit of coverage there. Can definitely uh, drop back off of angles like that. I see Woods didn't need to be holding through the window. If anything, Woods getting a little over, uh, over peaky there. It's scooped up on his defensive setup, and now Beginner's down to four right out the gate with four minutes left in this round. All right, so they have to know that there's obviously a hole because they took out somebody. Question is, are they going to use that or are they just going to keep moving on the original plan? It looks like they're just going to keep coming in from the north. And they are starting to spread a little bit into this western courtyard. Killinger should know that he's about to have offensive players on him. He's watching that angle very carefully. And Sri Lankan watching from the south. So they've got a nice encirclement. They're a little spread, but I think just with the angles they're carrying, especially Sri Lankan in the south, he could still have a pretty good position to take out anybody that decides to rotate and watch that west market. Kuchi knows that Paws is in that position, keeps putting laser on it. Or maybe he's just going to pre-fire at something along those lines. Getting closer and closer to Killinger here. He's looking for that pickup on the Flossy. He's holding that angle he was for that entire time. And now Flossy does get so ever so close to peeking this. The gun isn't quite around the corner. Killinger here's the the gun here's the movement from rushers gets himself into a trade flossy wasn't able to get the gun up in time to shut that trade from going down shots ringing in towards don he gets scooped up nice shots from from uh on to pause there smoils now the last one left alive in a 1v5 silent oh. purge doing a great job of just picking off methodically every single beginner's defender well, and you said it there, Nightfire, they did exactly that. They did a good job of picking off literally every single mm -hmm. beginner's defender. But, a, a, you know, a touch more communication there, and that could have been that cap that you were so doubtful of at the start of the round. Right. I mean, it was it was wide open there, uh, essentially, especially with Smoils rushing out like that. You have five men on the board. You could have you could have easily sacrificed the two in that in that courtyard and in that block just across the street from the objective to let Stray Jack get in on the backside and get that cap in. But, hey, I'm not going to knock you for getting your round win either in such a tight map race here. So Silent Perch still trying to swing that momentum back their direction. It's 3-3 again here on the map. And Hoochie, I was worried because, he, you know, he's been having his, a bit of team kill problem again today. Uh, I was really worried he was going to kill the Flossie there as he came through the kill room area. But uh, a great push from Silent Purge to, again, swing things back their way. And beginners be getting a little worried. Yeah. Another map would really put them at a disadvantage. It could even possibly put them out of contention for today's today's qualification. Oh, yeah, yeah. Silent Purge is in the exact same boat. They've won one. Actually, they're, they're better off. They've won one and lost one. Uh, actually, now they... Now they're both even. They're if both. They, they both lose yeah. this one. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, if they lost this map as well, they would be in the same situation as beginners. Yes. 
No, right now they are, because they've they've lost two and they've won one. Both teams have lost two and won a map. I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, so Silent Purge is actually ahead of them. They have one set win. Beginners has zero uh, going into this. So, so Silent I Purge think... took two maps? I thought they only took one. I thought it was 1-1. Uh, one, one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just... The stats are saying set wins one, so that would mean that they got one map off of their last match. Beginners had zero. Yeah, just look at the challenge bracket. It yeah. has, has who won what there. and uh, Yeah, so I think we're all tied up on this one at least. So the winner of this is going to be coming out into a pretty good shape. The loser definitely not where you want to be. It's uh, Especially with how things have been going. I think ALG has taken that first map uh, of their series. And so ALG continues to pile on. This second place uh, position is going to be highly contested. And Silent Purge taking a bit of a risk. They sent Sri Lankan way forward in the north. And that might end up biting them because the bulk of the beginner's force is in the south. And now Flossie and Kiot as well. If that standard beginner's crunch comes on and they wipe out the two directly on objective, they're going to have a serious problem on their hands. Oh, they've lost one. Yeah, that, that go. mini bizarre defense gone is rough to deal with. It's a, it's a big piece of coverage gone. And now Flossie and Sri Lankan are probably thinking about rotating. I would expect. Uh, Stray Jack making his way into the east side of the market. they don't rotate though this is looking very good for beginners they are essentially running into a 2v2 right now on obj as long as flossie doesn't rotate strajax also holding an angle here looking for any kind of rotation so they got to be careful about how they swing here flossie now taking up mini bazaar he's going to defend this push well what's interesting is that the beginners are sort of assembling their crew more towards the south they're about to have four in objective area and there is only one directly on objective they do have to flossie in that market area now oh and silent purge had a drop yeah i was gonna say i think they had two, i thought they had two on obj so that is really unfortunate to happen on a three three <laughs> i'm kidding well, we've seen a lot of unfortunate things happen today, though, so it's not out of the ordinary, I guess. The reality of the game in its current state is sometimes things happen, bugs happen, you gotta play through them. And uh, a drop has occurred, and now they gotta play through. We'll see what they can do. Minus two, essentially. They're into that 3v5 now. Oh, and I see Woods gets Sri Lankan. It's now just two up for Silent Purge. Objective dead. Another ah. big snag there. Pause finds the cross angle, picks him up. Where is their defender? Flossie is so out of position. He's crashing now into objective, trying to nade out, trying to get up there. Beginners A-OK -okay with locking in a second map win. Go for the kills. Push things up 4-3. I mean, well played there from beginners. There's yeah. really not much else you can say. They systematically went in there. I mean, yes, Silent Purge did have that unfortunate drop after the reset. The round reset trigger stage has been completed, and that is always tough to see. Uh, but yeah, beginners cleaning up and taking the second map as well with a squeaker 4-3. Uh, I, I, I'm... Silent Purge put up a heck of a match. Yeah. Just beginners were just that tiny bit more ready for him. And maybe because that wake up call from a Aimless Gaming in that first round really said, whoa, we're at risk of not moving past this stage if we don't get it together here. And we know Silent Purge is no slouch. So I don't know. Beginners did a good job. They seem to have their momentum back here. Silent Purge definitely trying to keep, keep, keep them bleeding, though. 
you know, keep giving away points as well, which is what they need to do if they're going to have any losses and if they're going to take any wins. Yep. They need those to, to be with as many points as possible. So a great matchup there and excited that we got the chance to watch it. Good thing. Glad to see we didn't have more of those unfortunate suicide bugs that we had in the first first series there. Right. But, uh, yeah. Excellent stuff there from both teams. Yeah, a uh, very good bit of back and forth. The standing's not updating there for you, but you can see the score lines of previous rounds uh, on the scoreboard. I do recommend go ahead and check that out because uh, this is going to be interesting. I think you were right. Uh, beginners are now uh, two and two. Silent Purge are one and three. Uh, ALG seemingly three and zero oh right now, but I think there's still a game going on over on Onward underscore VRML. So if you don't have your multi stream up, you should. And if you're watching here. You should be watching over in Venues, because Venues is awesome. I highly recommend you go check it out if you have a quest. It's a very good platform, has is a really good way to interact in this age of, uh, of quarantine. And you know, if you want to socialize, get out to an event, you can essentially do that by hopping into Venues. It's a really good spot. So shout out to everyone that's tuning in uh, there and hanging out. A shout out to everyone that's watching across all of the different platforms, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, uh, everywhere. We do really appreciate you all tuning in. The only reason I, I woke up this morning at 7.30 a.m. was to cast these games. It's all for you. It's all we care about. So thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to cut to a brief intermission while we prepare and set up for what is the final series of the day. The last two maps will be coming at you in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. More Group B. We'll be right back.